Hey, hey everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use a Heimer Zero Master in conjunction with your electronic tool setter. And we're gonna set it up over here on the X7. You're gonna need three different things. You're gonna need some type of a calibration tool. This one just happens to be from Mara Tool. You're gonna to need your Heimer. And last but not least, you're gonna need something like either a gauge block or maybe a one, two, three block just like this. Those are the only three things you need. We're gonna use the machine and the control for all the rest. All right, before we get going, I'm gonna show you guys something. These calibration tools, this one from, from Mara Tool, it already has extremely accurate numbers for its diameter and its length from a gauge line that was created at the Mara Tool production facility. You don't have to have one of these. You can just eyeball this because what happens is the whole coordinate system is gonna be relative to whatever length we choose for the length of this tool. I'll explain that in a little bit more depth. But for now, let's get this thing in the middle. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna set our one, two, three block down underneath the spindle, but offset. We wanna jog down past the top surface of the one, two, three block. We never wanna jog down onto the block because it would be incredibly easy to make a mistake and, and kind of have a, a gentle crash on the machine. I don't know if that's, it's kind of a conundrum, a gentle crash, but it, it, I've seen it happen. So you jog down next to it and you come up in your roughest increment. This one is, uh, I think, 10 thousandths. And now we slip under there, and you come down in a thousandth and see it won't go. And now we go up in a couple of tenths until we get, until this thing goes under here. There we go. All right, so now that, I'm gonna turn, for safety, I'm gonna turn this to off so that we can't jog the machine at the moment. And now we're gonna take a look at the control. Okay, here on the X7, you can see that we have the, the machine coordinate, the absolute coordinate, and the relative coordinate. So what I'm gonna do, right here, you guys can't see because I've got the camera zoomed in a little bit too much. I'm gonna go to work, piece coordinate, and I'm gonna zero right here below my finger to zero all relative coordinates. So what you're gonna see is that this coordinate system is gonna go to zero, so zero. Now we're zeroed out. So right now, in the machine, this, this position is zero. But keep in mind, we have 2.9999. We're gonna call it 3.00 inches for reference. But we have three inches from the gauge line to the top of this gauge block. So the next step is to turn your MPG back on, come up, Take this tool out, and now we need to put in our Heimer. Let's scoot this back out of the way. Okay. Now, when we jog down onto this, we'll then take an account of where our relative coordinate system is. So we're going to come down, come down like this, make sure that we're all the way down. We're going to go into 10 so that it's as accurate as we can make it. Not to go fast past this. Okay, now we're dead, dead on zero, okay, on the Heimer. So we go back to our relative coordinate system, and you can see that we've got 3.2415, okay? Obviously, we'll add the three inches the length of the Heimer, and now we have an accurate length for the Heimer. Now, just to give you guys an idea of how repeatable this is, I'm gonna zoom out just a smidge. See the studio lights are on behind us. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go to tool set. I set the Heimer as tool 96. Now, I, you, you see I haven't done anything else. We're still rolling, there's no editing that's happened. Tool set, we're gonna page down. We don't even need to, look. 6.2415, and here's our relative coordinate. So this repeats very accurately. And the way, as long as you calibrate your tool setter right there in the background, as long as, as long as you do your tool setter calibration with this tool, then when you do this, this same procedure, 
you'll be able to touch off your tools with your tool setter and touch off your work with your Heimer. Well, we actually have a probe for the X7 right here. Sometimes using a Heimer is just incredibly easy and just much faster to be honest with you, which is why we also keep one around for our Cat 40 machines. And I print out a little label that just keeps the gauge length on the, on the machine itself. So this is always related to the calibration tool itself. So hope this helped you guys out. Hope this is useful. If you don't have a Heimer, I'm a huge fan of them. Even if you have probes in all your machines, like we do in our Cat 40 machines, I still keep a Heimer around because if you break a tip and you don't have time to change it and zero it and uh, take the runout back out of it, or maybe you don't even have a spare tip, these things work great. They're very accurate, very easy to use, and more importantly than anything, they're very, very fast. And it's just as simple as that. As long as you have your calibration tool, your Heimer, and a gauge block or a 123 block, you can use the control to calculate the length of the Heimer. It's pretty simple. Then you can use your Heimer to set your work offsets. You can use your electronic tool setter to set your tool offsets and you're good to go. One other thing to keep in mind is that every now and then if you have a sophisticated setup and maybe it's really tall in the machine and you just can't get the spindle down to actually touch off a new tool. Maybe you break a tool or you've decided to program with something different. You can use this exact same method to calculate the length of any new cutting tool. So just like you can calculate the length of the Heimer, you can use this same trick to install a new tool when you might not have access to the tool setter itself. When I was making some large mold bases here in the X7, I had to touch off all the tools manually because the workpiece was just so big, I had to move the tool setter all the way out of the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.